This comment oddly popped up on one of our non-finance related videos. Bruno says, Jake and Joel, my collection last week was worth 3.1k euros. Today it is worth 2.87k euros. Is this COVID-19 thing affecting MTG economy? Can you guys comment or take a look at it, please? Maybe worth a theme for you guys to discuss. Thank you for your content. Keep it going. Yeah, let's talk about it. Special thanks to our Patreon supporters who power our channel. Check out our Patreon for monthly giveaways, exclusive content, and even a starring role in our fanfight series. Link in the description below. Hello and welcome to the day. Thank you for spending your time with us. I'm Jake. Welcome back to another episode of Jake and Joel, our magic. We have a, uh, a video planned for you today. I don't know if it's a fun video. I hope that it's informative. But we're going to talk about some trends that I see going on in the market. We're going to talk about why everybody's collection is dropping in price. We're also going to talk about a great new thing that Wizards of the Coast has done for local game stores that is just absolutely fantastic. All of that and more, we're going to talk about some cards that I think you need to be buying now if you do have expendable income. But before we can get into the video, I need you to go down, click like, click subscribe if you like staying up to date with the latest news and unbiased opinions and product reviews. This is probably going to be the channel for you. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. Valhalla. First thing I want to talk about is this comment for Bruno. Popped up on one of our videos. Jake and Joel, my collection last week was worth 3.1k euros. Today it's worth 2.87k euros. Is this a COVID-19 thing? Yes. This is a product of coronavirus. Uh, everybody's economy, anyone who's affected by this, which at this point is it's becoming a world thing. All of those economies are, are taking a hit right now. A lot of people are out of work. So people are saving their money to make ends meet. Magic cards, extraneous magic cards, singles that you aren't using. I, I will say right now, it is a buyer's market. This is not a seller's market. If you have expendable income and there are cards that you're looking to acquire, there is no better time on earth to do that. Let's talk about this really quick. Senate passes a $2.2 trillion rescue package on unanimous vote. If you are a working person, if you filed taxes in 2018 or 2019, you're going to be getting a check. Now, I'm not saying to spend this check on magic cards. I am not. I 100% am. If you are out of a job, I'm not telling you to spend your money on cards. But there are going to be some people that use their check to buy singles. That's just how Magic the Gathering works. And anybody who knows, knows that right now is a buyer's market. We don't know what the future holds for the coronavirus. We do know that we will get past it. And I just want you to know, this is not going to be like a coronavirus channel where we only talk about the coronavirus but the coronavirus is very important in how it is impacting the mtg market you can read up on this if you haven't read up on it and you live in the united states this is really 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 important and this is really good and it actually is a huge step in the right direction so people are going to be getting these checks and people are going to be buying singles if you are looking to buy cards and you know you're getting this check or if you are lucky enough to still have your job then great for you and you still have expendable income i can't think of a better time on earth to be buying cards so bruno yes the coronavirus is affecting your magic the gathering collection but do not fret unless the world ends uh once the economy starts to rebound your cards will likely see a rebound in price as well also keep in mind Taxes have been pushed back. Tax season has been pushed back. So people's refunds are going to be coming later. That's just important to keep in the back of your mind. It's not the end of the world. But you know what? If it is the end of the world, then don't you wish you would have bought that random card that you've been thinking about buying forever? <laughs> oh God, sometimes my dark sense of humor, I'm just like, should I say these things? But they just pop in my head. I don't even know. So the next thing I want to talk about is... um. This amazing and legendary comment that came from in the in that video that we just showed. I'll put it up in the cards if you want to watch this video. But I I posted this on February. Oh God, my grandma's calling me. Hey Graham, we are we're dead. Everybody is bleeding from their eyes out here in California. There's nothing that can be done. The world has come to a halt. I'm very serious. Yes. Graham, Graham, no, no, I'm not serious. No, everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're just staying in. We're being smart. Um, uh, hold on one second. 
I'm going to take this call and I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. We were just talking about, uh, okay, so that video, I, I did this video on February 24th, 2020. Uh, cards to sell now before Mystery Booster retail release on March 13th. We talk about some important cards like Mana Crypt and Tefri's Puzzle Box and some other things and triplets. It's really funny because we get this legendary comment here, sell my Mana Crypt, hell nah. And we reply, I mean, if you're not, if you're using it, no reason to sell, but it will dip once it releases. 100% it will drop by 50% value this is by another person this person says it will dip for a while but it's going to go back up since it's a mythic unlike cards like imperial recruiter mana crypt is highly sought after uh, we talk about imperial recruiter in this video as, as well and as of day of release mana crypt is 119.95 buy it now on ebay so that was two weeks ago, and I just want to talk about, you know, in that video, Mana Crypt was, I, uh, let's see if I can find the footage. We have an Eternal Masters English Mint Mana Crypt for $175, okay? And the reason I'm telling you all of this is because this breaks down in such a way where it's just going to make sense. People are going to buy this, whether or not you think they are, they're going to. Because when you can buy a box of mystery boosters for $109, and it has cards like, let's go into the singles here, sort by price, high to low, and it has cards like Mana Crypt in it, and Teferi's Protection, and Bloom Tender, people are going to open this. Especially when you can buy a pack at a reasonable price. Gosh, isn't it funny mystery booster retail boxes were $109.99? I got all of mine for around $100. I just knew this product was going to be popular. So let's talk really quick about current Mana Crypt prices since we're talking about Mana Crypt. And it's such a highly sought after card. It's an amazing EDH staple. This card is just excellent. I have Mana Crypts pulled up here. This is current today prices as of the filming of this video, 1X Mana Crypt, Mystery Booster, Magic the Gathering, MTG, fast and free shipping, $115 or best offer. We have another one at $115 or best offer. We have one at $110, $118, 123 So you can see huge, huge dip from what was $175 plus $10 shipping. So a huge dip from $185. If our friend had decided, uh, our, our commenter, who didn't want to sell their Mana Crypt, had they decided to sell it, and we're just talking hypothetically here, they could have undercut the market by about $10, probably sold it really quick, and profited, so say they sell it for $175 after shipping, then they're able to reacquire it for $115 now, had they sold it, and $60, what can you do with $60? You could buy Doom. Doom Eternal. If you like metal and gore, then Doom Eternal is for you. I mean, $60 is nothing to shake a stick at. $60, you can go out for a really, really nice evening. So anyway, would I have sold my Mana Crypt if I had had one in my possession before Mystery Boosters came out? 100,000 million percent. So now, since we're talking about Mystery Boosters, I want to talk about this really, really important thing that's happened. Uh, changes to the release of Ikoria. This is just, we're just going to glaze over this, but essentially what happened with Ikoria is everything is getting pushed. Ikoria debut trailer April 2nd, April 10th, last day of previews, April 16th, Ikoria released on Magic the Gathering online and MTG Arena. April 17th, pre-release uh, release in Japan, Korea, China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. And then on May 15th, we have the pre-release and release in North America, Europe, Latin America, and Australia, and New Zealand. Obviously, you know, pushed back from what it was originally going to be but let's talk about this because this is just absolutely amazing we talked about this in the beginning and we're this is the local game store relief initiative which is just this is really really cool what is going on with hasbro and wizards of the coast and how they're responding to this so this is in response to coronavirus and how local game stores and we talked about the relief checks that are going to be going out um people who filed taxes who made under i believe seventy five thousand dollars and filed taxes in 2018 2019 are going to be getting these checks and if you do have expendable income and you want to help out the local game store i can't think of a better time to do it as wizards of the coast has announced a second wave of mystery boosters and they're allocating these boosters to wpn member stores at no charge essentially they're just saying look we get that times are tough we're giving you these mystery boosters sell them from now until june 1st we're allowing local game stores to take admission fees this is another big thing uh up to ten dollars for tournaments they run on mtg arena make sure you're connected 
with your local game store online and then check to see if they'll be running any digital tournaments during this time. This is a absolute, the classiest, smartest possible response. Give your local game store a bunch of free product, a popular product, a let's let's just look at the secondary market price of mystery boosters right now because I think it's worth talking about. We go to eBay, sealed mystery booster MTG box, buy it now. Price plus shipping lowest first, $144.99. And so they're reallocating another wave of cards to local game stores because they know that they're going to sell these boxes because these boxes are super popular. You have cards like Mana Crypt. Let's really quick, I just want to show you what Mana Crypt is currently selling for. Um, completed listings. Look at this Mana Crypt 95, 95, 100, 102, March 13th, March 22nd, 26th. March 18th. When you have a card like Mana Crypt, a card that is just in huge demand for EDH, obviously it has other playability outside of that. But this is what sells boxes. And the people that open boxes, like the boxes are just on fire with value. And I know a lot of the foils have taken a hit. The, the price on a lot of these singles has gone down. But Mystery Boosters is easily comparable to Master Sets, like Modern Masters, Eternal Masters, Ultimate Masters, Masters 25. Iconic Masters, Ironic Masters at that. Uh, that was unfair. That set has rebounded nicely since people called it a garbage fire. You have a card like Mana Crypt. People don't want to buy Eternal Masters boxes. Mystery Booster boxes have a lot of really great cards as well. A lot of staples like Path to Exile, Ristic Study, Eternal Witness. The list goes on and on and on. And you know what? I know people were like, dude, those packs, those, those cards are going to be rare. And they are rare, but you get like three rares in a pack sometimes and like multiple common slots this the packs are just super fun to open so the fact that wizards of the coast is again allowing local game stores to have online mtg or wpn stores to have online uh magic the gathering tournaments on mtg arena and this this mystery booster thing is just i'm over the moon with how they have uh handled this and again non-biased if i thought this sucked i would tell you it sucks but it doesn't suck it's amazing. It's the it's the coolest possible thing that they could do for local game stores to help out these small businesses that are struggling during this unprecedented time. So we've talked about the fact that there's another wave of mystery boosters coming. So I would say, with the exception of cards like Mana Crypt, if you're trying to get one for around $100, if that's just something that's in your budget, then go for it. But with this second wave of mystery boosters, there is going to be more product open. So just keep in mind that moving forward, these prices are gonna go down even more. A lot of the foils, and let's just kick it to Card Kingdom really quick here. We're gonna go over there and I wanna sh just to just look at what's going on with foil prices really quick. So we're here now at Card Kingdom and uh, really quick, we can see sealed. The boxes have gone up. The, these used to be $99. They're all the way up to $159.99 out of stock. Packs are at $7 out of stock. Just all of the sealed stuff is out of stock because it's just such a popular product. Let's just look at singles and sort by price high to low. So Mana Crypt has gone down dramatically. Card Kingdom is going to charge a premium because Card Kingdom is pretty much ensuring that they're going to deliver a near mint product. You know, if you go to reputable sellers, on eBay, you're going to find it for much less. For a lot of the other cards, Card Kingdom has very, very, very fair and realistic prices. Like this adjustment on Expropriate is really good, $21.99. Send triplets in we have a video you can go check it out I'll put it in the cards where I'm talking about don't buy send triplets for $40 and you know people are buying them. Ristic Study is down to $20.99. You can go look at the video and I put it in the cards and you can look at the price of the cards in that video and you can just see the adjustments that are being made. I'm just showing you like Scourge of the Throne. This used to be you know $20 plus. Braid of Fire $20 plus and now a lot of big adjustments are being made. What's happening is the singles are going down, the sealed is going up, and eventually the price is gonna settle. Knowing that another wave is coming, it's very hard for me to just, like, aura shards, like, this is a huge dip. Intruder alarm, huge dip. And it has to do with scarcity. One card I really wanna talk about is Teferi's Puzzle Box. And people will forget this. Very big adjustment. So these are the foil versions, okay? 7th edition holds a huge premium. 7th edition has taken a big hit despite having the OG frame. The thing that's notable about Tefri's Puzzle Box is that it is played in Narset Lock. It's a legacy deck. Look at this. 
Tefri's Puzzle Box Foil Mystery Boosters version, $5.99, eight available. Let's sum it up by saying cards not to buy now are anything mystery boosters because there's gonna be another wave of mystery boosters coming out and cards to buy now because formats like Modern have kind of lost steam because of Pioneer. I would say if there are cards that are, you know, staples in modern decks, a lot of those cards are really, really cheap right now. Price plus shipping lowest first on Ensnaring Bridge. Like, this is a huge, huge card in modern. It's taken a big hit. I love Ensnaring Bridge, but it's just doesn't have the same demand that it used to. Karn Liberated. Now, this one's going to be a proxy, so don't pay any attention to this. That's what read description means. It means this card is fake. So we have a heavily played copy from Canada for $32. We have another one here for $34.25. We're just seeing cards like this bottom out and card like this was a card that you know before Pioneer's announcement was you know like $60, $70. I'm not going to go through a huge list of modern cards that you should be buying but I just want you to like think about and look at price trends for popular cards that have just kind of you know they've just settled they're bottoming out cards that are scarce cards that are played in very niche legacy decks when they get a reprint like imperial recruiter or we just talked about it tefri's puzzle box those cards bottom out they they just like they they tank. And you have to think about the pimp factor. If you're going to acquire a Tefri's puzzle box and you want it to be the pimpest one, you're going to get the seventh edition foil because it is just the hot sauce. It looks so much better in that old frame with that old foil. Like it is just, that's what's going to go in the EDH deck. So the huge influx of foil Tefri's puzzle boxes that are coming out of mystery boosters, that it's going to take a very, very long time for that card to rebound very long time so these checks are coming out in the next few weeks if you do have expendable income and you want to help someone out help out the local game store obviously we have to buy food and we have to do the things that are correct to survive and and to stay healthy but local game stores are taking a huge hit right now it's very hard for them to be profitable as it is so let's think about them moving forward and they're going to have this amazing mystery booster product which is super duper fun to draft it's got amazing value. It's really hard to not break even with the current box prices if you're cracking product. And what better time than now to uh, support the LGS? We've talked about some cards that you need to sell. We've talked about how it's a buyer's market, not really a seller's market. We showed you that it was a good time to sell Mana Crypt, and now it's a good time to buy it. Stay vigilant, stay safe, and I'll catch you on the flippity.